Hello everyone, Emily here. I am here today to show you how to make some baby booties. I call these baby boot booties. I hope everyone is healthy and happy. I wanted to say thank you to everybody who's been watching. I have 33 subscribers now. I'm very excited. I'm new at this and I really enjoy doing this. And I really appreciate everyone who's been um, hanging on even though I'm new and things are just not perfect all the time but I really enjoy doing this well we're having a new baby in our family so I'm making these uh, baby booties I don't have a pattern so I'm just going to show you how to do it so these let's see here these are the first ones that I made I made them a little different um, for the baby's comfort I didn't turn them inside out I did a, a single crochet right here uh, and so it looks a little bit wider here and on the end I left a little opening so it'll be easier to get it on the baby's foot and this one I did a slip stitch on the edge so that's probably why it looks a little bit um, thinner here on this you know this way so anyway I'm t making all of them the same you can see there are different patterns look at the toes are all different colors uh, but I really like it the way it's working out and I figured if she loses one she still has more left over so let's go ahead and get started and I have this yarn here I don't know what it is my friend uh, bought it at a consignment shop in Ankeny and she only paid 99 cents uh, there's stickers on it so it covers up a lot but I do see that it's sock yarn and you can see a sock underneath this sticker so I made four already and I still have enough left I think for another pair I'm gonna go ahead and tie my yarn in a slip knot my crochet hook I'm using a 4.0 and let's get started I'm gonna do my crochet I'm sorry my slips slip stitch I'm gonna crochet chain two I'm gonna go in that first chain and I'm gonna do a single crochet and now we're gonna do 11 more for a total of 12 So I have 12 and I'm going to go into this first single crochet that I have right here and I'm going to do a slip stitch and if you can hear a whole bunch of little pitter patter I, uh, I do this uh, taping in my dining room and I have two new kittens they've been here a week today and they're running from the living room into the kitchen through the dining room they are uh, little 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 guys they're awful cute and awful noisy I have four adult cats and so they might uh, join in on the fun you can see I have a little hole here I'm just gonna oh it didn't work like it did last time usually I pull that and makes it nice and tight so you could do a magic circle there if you wanted to but I did not so we did a slip stitch I am going to chain one and in the same stitch we're going to where you did the slip stitch we're going to go ahead and uh, do a single crochet in there now in each stitch all the way around we are going to do two single crochets this does work up really nice and quickly so this is a gift you could whip up really quick something uh, you can give someone as a gift that's cherishable and they'll use it of course not for very long because babies grow so quickly but this is 
going to be my last stitch here. And I'm going to bring my tail up to the front and use it as my marker right here. And then when I get done, I'll just pull it all the way through. So right here, you can see is where we did the slip stitch. We're not going to go into that stitch. We're always going to slip, skip the slip stitch and we're going to go into the next one. We are going to go into the back loop and do a slip stitch. So you can see now what we did is the toe. We did this middle part right here. So we're going to start on this row on the outside and you can see it's going to make a ridge because we're going to be in the back loops. So we're going to go around eight times. So let's go ahead. We're going to go into the back loops only. I'm going to chain one. Skip the, the, the one that you just did your slip stitch in. We're going to go into the next stitch and we're just going to do a single crochet all the way around. We are going to do eight rows and it's really easy to count because you can just count this front loop lip. You'll start noticing after you get maybe to the third row that it's going to start um, looking like the front part of the, the slipper. I have my my tail sticking right here sticking out the front for my for my marker and I can see this is my slip stitch right here so I'm going to go ahead and go into my last stitch here and then I'm going to skip my slip stitch and go into the back of the next one and I'm going to be starting on my second row so go ahead and go around Keep going until you've went around eight times. So I went around eight times and I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So I went around eight times. So we have the toe done right here. And we are right here now. So we're gonna chain eight. So we're gonna be going right up here up the front. So let's go ahead and I did my slip stitch and now I'm going to chain eight. And there we go. I really like the way my colors changed. So we're just going to, uh, if you can see the chain here, we're just going to go into this very first one and we're going to single crochet all the way down and you should have seven. five, six, and seven. Okay, so you can see here, it looks like you have a stitch right here where you started to do your chain eight. We're gonna skip that, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go into both loops and we're gonna do a single crochet all the way around. And what we're going to do is we are going to go up the other side of this. So you could decorate these really cute with little bows if you did a pink one or You could do a lot of different things with these little booties. I like this color. It just makes them look like big people socks. <laughs> so I'm coming here. And we're going to make sure that we go into each stitch. So that really isn't one. So we're going to go in over here. We want to make sure we have seven. One, two, three, 
three, four, five, six, and then way up here on the top, seven. So we're going to chain one. You can see this right here is this front part right here. And now you can see we're just going to keep going back and forth. And uh, when we get to our fifth row, we're going to start decreasing here at the heel. So we chained one, we're going to turn, and we're not going to go into that first one right here, we're going to go into the second. And I'm going into both loops, and we're just going to continue to do this back and forth all the way for five rows. And then after you do the five rows, then we will start decrease, decreasing at the heel. So I went around five times, back and forth five times. So I have five rows. My slipper looks really good. So uh, I chained one and I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna go back down. We're gonna go down to the bottom and we're gonna do a decrease so that our heel is not pointy. So if you don't do a decrease, that's okay. You'll just have a little bit of a pointy heel. And of course, once you put it on the baby, you probably won't even see or notice it. But, oh, I have a cat. Oh, this is the cutest little thing ever. And this is, hey, Tom, look, hi. Yes, this is Tom. Okay, I know, go on. Stop climbing up here. All right. Oh, let's see here. So we're going to go all the way to the end. So what I do here, so I'm going to look down here. I'm going to decrease right here. I'm going to decrease two. Okay, so now I'm going to do two decreases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into one stitch and I'm going to bring my yarn through. Go into the next stitch and bring my yarn through. Three loops on there and I'm going to go all through. Go through all three. So now I just decreased one. I'm going to go into the next one and bring one through. Go into the next one being bring one through grab my yarn and take it through both, all three of the loops, and I just decreased another one. And, sorry, this little cat, Tom, is getting really good at climbing up here, so I'll have to put him back down again. So I'm just going to go all the way up. And the next time we come down, we're only going to decrease one and not two. Chain one and turn. This is a really cute. Sorry, I'm sitting on a chair and I have a cat sitting behind me. So every time I move, it's crinkling back there. It, um, it's an old chair. It's pretty comfortable. It's just a wooden chair. And um, my girl Ava is sitting on it. So I get to sit on the edge because she loves to sit with me. And I don't want her on my lap, so I guess I'm going to have to share the seat. I love my pets, and 
if you have a cat or a dog, you know if you lock them out of a room or try to keep them shut out of something, they'll just make racket and they won't leave you alone until they get in. So there's no keeping these guys quiet. So I'm going to do go down here. Two more. One, two. So I know I want to decrease here. So I'm only going to do one decrease. I'm going to put my pull my yarn through one, go into the next one, pull it through. I have three on there. Grab it, pull it through all three. Now you just decreased um, one stitch. I'm going to crochet all the way to the top. I always go into this last little stitch at the top. So I'm going to chain one and turn. This is going to be our last row. But let's see here. But I do want to do another decrease. So we're going to get to the bottom, we're going to do one more decrease, and then we're going to end this little booty. This pattern is really beginner friendly. If you had a hard time decreasing, you don't actually have to. So I'm going to go into one, pull my yarn through go into the next one, pull my yarn through, grab my yarn and take it through all three loops, and I just decreased one. So now I'll have a nice round heel. I do want to leave a little opening at the top to make it easier to put this on the baby's foot. So when I get to the top, I'm just going to turn. I'm not going to chain one, I'm just going to turn it. And I'm going to slip stitch in the next four. So you go into the stitch, pull the yarn through, and pull it through. And I'm going to do four of those. Just pull it through and pull it straight through your loop. Okay, so I'm going to put mine together, One, two, three, four, so I'm going to go through both of these and go through two loops on the other one because we're going to put them together now, and I'm going to do a single crochet, and I'm just going to keep doing that all the way to the end, and I am doing this for the comfort of the baby. Because if you um, had this on the inside, they, they might be able to feel that on the back of their little heel. And you're not going to notice it once you put it on the baby anyway. So here is my last loop right here. So I'm just going to I just tie my knot. I am really not happy. I love knots. So I'm going to tie two knots here, pull it nice and tight, and then before I bury it, I'm going to cut this loop because um, I want to make sure that the baby's toe doesn't maybe get stuck in it or something if I pull it through and it's in here. So I'm just going to grab those three and pull them inside. Oops. I have my nice 
nice baby booty and I really like this yarn because it is really stretching really well. So now when you go to put it on the baby's little foot, you have this opening here to help you open it up and put it right on the baby's foot. So I have one more to make. These are really cute and um, I'm really glad that I'm making them all with the same color. So she'll it's like having buying a package of socks. So I hope you liked my tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow. Have a great day. Please subscribe. I hope to be back soon with another great pattern. Uh, maybe it will be an adult boot booty. Um, I do make them every year. I usually make myself one pair a year and it will last me the whole winter. Uh, but I do like to make them for my friends and give them as Christmas presents. I don't know if there's anybody left that I haven't given one to. So uh, at least I'll make myself a pair. <laughs> Have a great day. Stay safe and I hope to be back soon. Bye.